everybody, it's Sean Ham with the Music Mesa 2010. We're at the Line 6 Variax booth with Daryl Smith. We got Horst giving us some licks over here on the new Variax guitar. So tell us what's going on. So we're uh, at Mesa launching the new James Tyler Design Variax guitars. Uh, we ran a program, Variax program, a number of years ago. Had tremendous success, but we got a lot of tremendous feedback from both our customers and folks who tried Variax, but it really wasn't for them. So we've been working for the last two years with uh, James Tyler to address those issues, starting with fabulous instrument, upgrading the Variax modeling, bringing all the requested features like pickups, uh, alt tuning to the guitar, bringing it forward so it's really easy to access. Cool. Now, for those who don't know, James Tyler is a famous luthier who's built guitars for studio cats like Mike Landau and That's guys right. like that, yeah. right? And uh, Michael Anthony, the old uh, the Tabasco bass and stuff. Um, he's done guitars for Prince. I mean, he's kind of like a luthier to the stars in Los Angeles. He's been at it for 30 years. And uh, we partnered with them about two years ago, went to work on designing three special models just for Variax, something that would vibe in that kind of uh, Strat to Jazz Master space, um, something that would kind of inspire Shred guys, and then a third guitar that's kind of the evolution of a Les Paul design. Our Korean line uh, is made at the World Factory in Korea. They're a premier manufacturer. Um, there's nine different variations of the guitars, uh, a bunch of color variations in that, so you can kind of get something that works for you. Uh, they're competitively priced from uh, about $1,100 to $1,300. Um, they come in, you know, gig bags, batteries, all that kind of good stuff. All right, we're talking with Rich Rankin at Line 6 now. He's doing a tag team to tell us a little bit about, a little bit more about the specific details on the new Variax guitars. The U.S. Uh, guitars will be uh, bodies and necks will be made up in Northern California by a place called Wildwood. We'll have them painted by a cat in uh, Norco, California. And we got a guy named Tim Wilson that used to run Jackson Guitars that's going to be bolting them together and polishing them and doing the whole shizzle to them. And, uh, with, uh, and that's all with close supervision on both lines uh, from James Tyler himself. Uh, inspecting them, you know, we're going to do spot checks and stuff like that. You'll have the hip shot locking tuners. On the Korean you'll have Goto style locking tuners. You'll have a, I don't know if you can pick this up, a quarter sawn neck. Certain guys will know what that means. Uh, each guitar will be completely hand uh, polished frets to Jim specs with the slight round over on the edge like uh, Jim Tyler does on his guitars. We have on both the Korean and the USA guitar, we have a James Tyler designed bridge on all three models. Uh, this actually strings in from the front, drops into the front. It doesn't run on AA batteries anymore because we knew we had to solve the power problem. So what we've done is we've given you a lithium ion rechargeable battery, Sony, Sony, Sony style, real simple to get out. It's proprietary to us, so you'll have to buy the extra batteries from our website but the uh, USA version comes with two, the uh, Korean version comes with one. Very easy to pop in. You said 12 hour battery life? Yeah, about 12 hours. And one cool thing about the battery is you have your guitar plugged in. If you roll your volume down, you're gonna set your guitar down on stage, you're done. You're gonna, you're going, your sound check is over. You're gonna go chill. If you forget to unplug, no problem, because you're gonna turn your volume down. And when you do that, after about 10, 15 seconds, it goes into sleep, so you're not using your battery. And the minute you come back, you turn the knob, it comes instantly on. That was what we called the JTV 69 US, and this is the JTV 59 US. Custom design Tyler Bridge. We had specific things we wanted to address with the bridge that would help us with the tone of the piezo and, and what we get out of it. Uh, all have alt tuning on a knob now, 10 tunings that are completely customizable. Uh, th this little uh, feature, if you look at it straight on, looks very natural, looks like a Les Paul, very hidden uh, that Jim Tyler came up with. Again, rechargeable battery. Um, this one has a full flame maple top, mahogany hand selected woods. This is a great feature. Jim Tyler is always a stickler about being able to get to the higher frets comfortably. So even on sort of a Paul style guitar, where it would normally come across, stop here, and then you'd have the block, and you'd be done. 
he's carved that all away and came up with a, a way to get to the higher frets. It's very cool. Awesome. Now, what kind of pickups? Those are Duncans also? Yes. And this are a pair of 59s. The easy way to remember each each model is if you JTV 69, sort of that Hendrix era, 69 shreddish. 59 is kind of polish, and 89 is kind of shreddish. It's hard to design one guitar that that every player will love. So we went for the three big feels, which is a strat feel, a Paul feel, and a shred feel. So that means one one and five eighths nut, uh, one and uh, 24 and a half scale length. You know, strat feeling neck, uh, 12, 10 to 12 radius, 12 radius. This has a 14 radius, so it's flat. Uh, here's another, again with the Jim coming up with the way to get to the higher frets. He took the neck thin all the way, and then at the heel, it doesn't jump up. It doesn't get fatter there. The heel just stays the same width as uh, depth as the neck, and then cut this all away. So again, you can get up in there with no problems. And what we did with the tuning on a knob, for it's completely customizable, but as it shifts, the 59 and the 69 will have tunings like Dad Gad and Open G and Res OG for using with the resonator with a slide. But with the Shred guitar, we thought, okay, what's that guy gonna enjoy? So instead of uh, doing all the Dad Gads and stuff, he can do that if he wants, but we just have it go from standard tuning, drop the D, go down a whole half step on the whole guitar, drop the D, whole step down, drop that D, minor third down, just keep going down, down, down until you're to a baritone, which is B to B. All right, Daryl, let's launch into some of the specific tones on this. We'll have Horace play some legs of the different positions, so you lead us through it. Yeah, all right, Horace is going to start with uh, kind of a clean strat sort of sound here. Actually, this is a 335 he's playing. I do, uh, I do a strat. So here now we've kicked over to the Les Paul model. Back in the bridge. I'll show you uh, an alt tuning now. So there's a new alt tuning knob on all the very axes. It brings it right up to the front. Um, drop D really quick. Remember that Keith Richards uh, blues open G tuning. With all the new Variax now, you can switch easily between modeling and magnetics. So he switched over to the mags now, and this guitar is loaded with Duncans. Bon Jovi could be cool again now. A little sitar action. Way cool. And on it goes. There's over 25 different guitars modeled in it, from Dobros and Resonators to Les Paul Specials, um, you know, all the sort of uh, hollow body guitars, Gretches, Pauls. It's all in there. All right, Daryl, thanks so much for showing us all this stuff. It's very cool. We're excited. I'm sure all of our readers will be excited. Where can they go to find out more about this? We've got uh, a whole bevy of information that's going to be flowing out from the show this week. You can follow us on Twitter, Variax Guitars, Variax Guitars on Facebook. Um, we've got a new site that we're launching, TylerVariax.com. You can go see Rich's blog. We're going to walk... Um, all of our customers through the entire development process so you can get the inside scoop on every design decision. And finally, we'll be posting uh, some of the good demos and stuff up on YouTube on our channel, Varex Guitars, as well. So, Varex, 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 everywhere you could possibly go, 
hopefully there'll be something good there. All right, thanks, man, for talking with us. I'm Sean Hammond. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.